I don't breathe during your audio syncs now. Welcome. Oh, we're doing back. this again. <laughs> I was just kidding. No, we're not doing it. No, no, no. That was a one episode bit. It was a Christmas special. (laughs) It cannot last. It cannot cannot come back for another episode. And now you're here and it's the Valentine's. Yeah. If you you watch the last episode and are still here for (laughs) this episode, (laughs) what the fuck is wrong with you? (laughs) Hey, welcome back to Sunday Escaping. What are you going to do? (laughs) <laughs> what are you that's are you going to vote? L- Luna's question applies to all of you. What are you guys gonna do now? You this know, is where your lives have led you. The first time to I our played channel. this game, I was so like in the atmosphere of like the Well that's dark because you weren't playing horror. it with me. And I just remember like playing it and absorbing and this this game had me so emotional. Some of the endings like were serious tearjerkers. And now I'm just playing this with my dear partner, Solid <laughs> with, Son. With my dumbass and- Solid Son. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't think we've seen a tearjerker yet. What end? We've seen Dio's ending. His ending isn't really a tearjerker. I'm taking this game seriously. <laughs> Are you? If Clover is a buddy, then she's defaulting to ally. <laughs> Betraying someone who isn't even hard playing hardly seems fair. Of course, I think so too. I'm just glad to hear you say it. Yep. I'm cool like that. Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. Just like you. Thank me! I grew back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the non game didn't seem so scary. Then she spoke. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? There's something white on it. There's what? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I meant to wipe this off. <laughs> this, is, this is what's scary about this is this is my even my non-jerking hand. I wasn't even using this hand to jerk off, and somehow. <laughs> well, she found me out. <laughs> High five, Luna. (laughs) With that hand. What the hell is this? For the first time since I found Alice in the crew quarters, I was able to jerk off to her boobies. (laughs) I looked out at my hand and crossed the palm with some sort of strange white liquid. Mm, It smelled a little bit like the pizza I had last night. For a moment, I thought I'd somehow touched some white paint or something similar. But the truth was far stranger and a little below south of the belt. The liquid was coming from my hand. Oh shit. Okay, so he is a robot. Well? He's got Raiden's blood. It was coming from the cut I'd given myself. Um, I'd it's like synthetic uh, synthetic blood or whatever. Uh, artificial blood is what Metal Gear 4 calls it. Where was the blood? I had a very odd sort of fear begin to wrap its hand around my throat just as I wrap my hand around my junk for another, for another, uh, I was gonna say squirt fest. <laughs> okay, quickly I held my palm against my chest. I shouldn't have let Luna see that. This might be the anxiety track. Are you all right? Really? I don't know. I don't think so. The, the one I'm thinking of is, uh, I'll, I'll point it out when I hear it. Yeah, it's nothing. Oh no, I don't think this is anxiety. I went to the pantry while I was looking for Alice. There was some milk, and I spilled it. <laughs> uh, this this excuse always works on my mom when she was like, "What are all these white stains all over your sheets?" Uh, I I was uh, I had a midnight so- midnight snack, and I spilled milk all over my sheets. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't explain why it's all hard and crusty, but maybe the milk had congealed a little bit. It sounded even stupider as I said it. Really? But. Just shut up. God, it's fine, all right? Leave me alone. I regretted the words the moment they were out of my mouth, but something was wrong, very wrong, and my head was spinning, and my hand was jerking. And, uh, oh man, I'm so sorry. I just, it's, just don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry. After my like fifth jerk of the day, there won't be anything coming out anyway, so there won't be any proof. No evidence. There was no time left. I had to vote. I turned and faced the machine. 
I took a few deep breaths, but the chaos in my mind refused to calm itself. Calm down. Just calm down. You need to think about A, B, Gabe. Just don't forget. Just forget about your hand. Forget about your dick. Who was I kidding? <clears throat> there was no way I forget, could forget about something like that. Ten seconds remain. Nine. What do you want to do with Clover? What do you want to do? Uh, let's ally Five, first. I was going to say let's four, ally. Three, two, one. And she's not in the AB room, right? Nope. So she can't possibly betray us. Exactly. Has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex Gates. I hope now Luna doesn't tell everyone about our uh, our jizz hand. Okay, Luna, I'm ready to spill the beans on what it was. My hand is the result of a jism slap. That's where you come into your hand and then smack your girlfriend's ass. <laughs> Who's Sigma's girlfriend then? Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. That's for me to know and for you to find out. Oh, okay. I could see the others filing out of the rooms as we did. So you chose Ally after all. Yep. To be honest, the AB game was the last thing on my mind. I had a really good jism slap session just a few moments ago. As chaotic as my thoughts were, they all centered on one thing. Jism The mysterious white liquid, I mean. Do you want to go see the results? Sure. Luna nodded and walked off toward the projection, but I couldn't move. I got around to make sure no one was watching and opened my hand. The liquid didn't seem to have clotted or run out since it was still oozing thickly out of the slit in my hand. <laughs> what in the hell is this? My jizz is so blocked up, backed up, that I'm jizzing out of my hand. Oh no, that was impossible. No matter how many white blood cells clumped together, you'd never get anything that looked like that. And I'd never seen my blood do this before. In 22 years of life, I've seen my body bleed many times, and I've seen so much of my... Anyway, scraped knees as a kid, accidental nicks with a knife as an adult. But every single time, I'd bled red, like any other human being. So why was it this time it was white? What the fuck? Hey, Sigma, <coughs> what are you doing? Get the hell over here. They're gonna show the results. Shut the fuck up, or I'm gonna chism slap you. I did my best to compose myself dun, 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 and headed over to join my friends. Results from round, please direct. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. Everyone hey, allied. I think that's the first time we've ever seen that. Yep. And no one has nine points yet, so this timeline can't be over. Yep. Well, that's cool. Have been Please check your bracelet. I'm just forwarding through the floor. We have eight. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Look, everyone voted ally. You did just like you promised, Kay. How could I choose betray after what you <coughs> said to me? Ten Miyoji and Dio voted ally too. Of course. If we hadn't, Alice would have died. Yeah, well, that's about it, I guess. We should thank the both of you as well. I'm happy to see you also chose ally. Oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. That was all Sigma. Then thank you very much, Sigma. <laughs> Sigma? Okay, okay. Sigma, are you all right? Yeah. Come on, what's wrong? Just say something. Huh? Oh yeah, um... Looks like we all allied. That's great. Sigma, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, you've been acting a little out of it ever since we came out of the AB rooms. What Look. happened? You make it pass at Luna and get shot down? <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah, many times in this game. But anyway, yeah, no, nothing like that. You remember what that is? A joke? 
Nope. You're in pretty bad shape, huh? Yep. <laughs> Before Dio could continue, the heavy metal rumble of the doors echoed through the warehouse. Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Oh, uh, yeah. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star I will just forward through this. Ambidex game. Yeah, whatever. Open the gates as many times as we want to. Yep. Then that means we can play the AB game as many times as we like, right? Hey, Zero Junior said something about this, didn't he? <laughs> right. Sorry to be a pain, but uh, could you all show me your bracelets? I want to see what all your colors and assignments are. <clears throat> Arrow nodded and held their arms out toward him. Even me. But certain that refusing would only draw more suspicion, so I held uh, my arm out, hand tightened into a white knuckled fist out of the cut. When their eyes landed on my hand, my heart skipped a beat. So Dio and K are a yellow pair. Luna and I are both pairs, but our colors are different. Right. You're a cyan, and I'm magenta. That makes Sigma the only solo, huh? A red solo. So what are the four we left in the infirmary? Luna and I are pairs, so two of them are our partners. That means the other two are solos. Although, I guess we don't know what colors they are. They're probably green and blue. Why is that? Didn't you see them? There are a bunch of white doors in the floor B warehouse. They have to be the next set of chromatic doors. Ah, yes. Fine, I saw them as well. On our way back from the garden with the unconscious quark. And there they were. What's happening right now? We're oh, they're showing the, their, we're their path? The white doors, yeah. Each one had a box, <clears throat> just like the doors on floor A. Given that, I don't see how there can be any question. Those white doors are our next set of chromatic doors. I think that our bracelet combinations will have to add up to white in order to open the secondary doors. The pairs are cyan, magenta, and yellow. You see? Yeah. If we need to make white, then the other three colors would have to be red, green, and blue. Right. Great, you all can do color shit. Good. How about I just smear some of my fucking jizz on the door? I can make it real chromatic, real fast. Now that we've got that figured, I'm heading back to the infirmary for a bit. I want to check up on Quark and Alice. You don't need green, red, and blue to make white. Might as well go with you. You I just guess. need one of Sigma's penises. No real reason to hang out here. Well, what will you two do? I, I need to talk to Sigma about something. <laughs> about what? You want to be jizzing slapped? All right. Something. <laughs> Her usual pleasant expression had been replaced with something much more sullen. She must have noticed there was something wrong with me. That was what she wanted to talk about. Talk, talk, talk. God, oh. I was sure of it. <laughs> All right, fine. I managed to make my voice sound almost relaxed. Well, hold on. A private talk? What are you guys plotting? We're not plotting anything. I promise. It's nothing. <laughs> Fine, whatever. See if I care. Boy, Dio really needs to get killed. Dio tossed his head with a mixture of arrogance Whoa. and feigned disinterest and marched out the yellow door. Ten Mioldi and Kay quickly followed. In only three moments, all three had disappeared. All right, Luna, what the fuck do you want? So, uh, what was it that you wanted to talk about? Probably my hand, right? I was almost certain I knew, but there was always hope. I did my best to ask as if I was genuinely confused. Oh, um, I don't really like this room. Could we go somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. Hey. I found somewhere nice when I was looking for Alice earlier. As strange as her request was, I had no reason to object her blowjob. I kept my mouth shut and followed Luna as she headed off. 
Hmm. Now I wish I hadn't jerked off. The garden. You know this place? Yeah, well, sort of. I came here once when I was looking for all ice. Oh, you know, the Egyptian princess. So, uh, what brings you here? Nice pickup line, nice. dude. This is the only place in the whole facility with anything green. I feel kind of silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. Makes me feel like pulling my pants oh, down. There's a bench over there. Would you like to sit down with me? <laughs> Do you remember when we did the garden and Sigma was like, have you sat down on the bench with your boyfriend? I just thought it was a little nice tie-in. No, I don't remember that. She sat down softly and gently, and I lowered myself down next to her. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Instead of answering, Luna lifted the tiny birdcage pendant she wore into the palm of her hand. Oh, God. She was silent for a moment, and then began to talk. Can I tell you something? This is actually a music box. Oh, God, it's going to be one of these conversations. Anyway, really? Yes. I'll try to act interested. She twisted the key on the bottom, and it made almost imper imperceptible winding noise. Yep, that's really cool, Luna. Pretty cool. When she released it, soft, clear notes drifted out. I love it when non-musicians try to describe music. It's a nice song. Why'd you bring that up, though? Because I... wanted you to know, I guess. I wanted you to know more about me. Um... Maybe it's because I'm so shy. But I don't really have any friends. Or even any acquaintances. <laughs> so I've sort it's of okay, baby. It was really hard. I feel like I've had this conversation with you. <laughs> it's so lonely a lot of the time. And it, it hurt. It felt like I was just kind of going to collapse. Anyway, the, the clouds look pretty nice, don't they? That was when I got this music box. Okay. Someone very important gave it to me. Uh, hopefully it was your current boyfriend. I felt like there was an unspoken message behind it. Luna, <laughs> happiness is closer than you think. Yeah, there's definitely a penis closer than you think. And it's not happiness, it's my penis. The bluebird? Uh, no, not really, but I feel like I'm really gonna get to know it now. print of this display. The you have English it? Print. Oh yeah, it's one of my Of course you have pieces. it. I think it starts on Christmas Eve. This brother and sister named Sittle and Mittitle, named Tits and Mitts, get asked to find a bluebird by this old woman, and they travel to the dream world or something. Anyway, supposedly, if you can catch this bird, then you can make a wish come true and you can get out of any painful conversation that you want, including this one. So they visited all these different places, but they can't find it. Eventually, they give up and go home, but when they wake up, they find out that the girl is actually giving a blowjob and not a synopsis of a stupid story. <laughs> the bird is in a birdcage in their oh hut. God. That's right. It's a well-known story. This is one of my favorite moments in the game. And it teaches oh. a simple lesson. Allow me to ruin it. <laughs> yeah. Well, like you said, happiness is closer than you think. Right. It got me thinking. Maybe the person who gave me this music box was trying to tell me just that. I don't know if that's true. Maybe all of this is just in my head, but I really felt like that Ugh. was what they meant. You mind if I just start jerking off right now? <laughs> oh my god. So, just ignore me. You keep talking. I'm gonna keep jerking. Time, like a kind of good luck charm. But one day I realized something. There was another meaning to the bluebird. In Major Link's original story. <laughs> It doesn't end with them waking up. Ooh, I sure wish one of those bombs would go off right about now. <laughs> There's more? Yes. When Tiltil and Mittel try to feed the bird, it leaves the cage and flies away. And then the story ends. Whoa. What about the morale then? 
it changes. Now the message is that just when you think you found happiness, you lose it again. Yeah, just when you think just you found <laughs> happiness, you're sitting here on the bench with you. I thought about that for a while, but in the end, it didn't change how I felt. I don't know what they intended it to mean when they gave it to me, but I decided how I was going to look at it. It means that happiness is something you should always be looking for, and it's only when you're pursuing happiness that you're truly happy. Really? Because I was pursuing... Never mind. You know, Sigma, I think you might be Tiltil. <laughs> what did you just call me? Next time, we'll find out what on earth she's talking about. Sound good? Yep, more bench time with Luna. Yeah. It's Next a, time. It's such a sweet moment. Yep, she's got more to say. Yeah. And we're here to listen. Yes. Not mock we're her. We're here to listen. Not mock her. Yeah, we're here to listen to her little birdie story. be a jerk to her. Yeah. But to listen with very, I very sen necklace. with sensitive ears. I have always wanted her necklace with the little and music box. to be empathetic, understanding, and receptive to her feelings. Yes. Good job. <laughs>